What's up everybody, Commander Carl here, and before I start this video, I'd like to apologize ahead of time for my voice. My children got me sick, which is one of the many benefits of, of having kids. Please help me. So I just ask that you guys bear with me on that. So as many of you remember, I was recently hired at Running With Scissors. And when you get hired at Running With Scissors, you get one of these. Let me, let me pull it out of my inventory. And when you get one of these, part of new employee initiation is to shoot your own holes in it. Now I'd use my own guns to do that, but I think I've got something a little more special in mind. Come on, we're gonna go somewhere really cool. Ah, and here we are guys. We are at Drive a Tank in Kasota, Minnesota. One of my favorite places on God's green earth. And today, we're gonna shoot some dang holes in this sign. So what do you say we get started, huh? Ah. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, my camera wasn't filming when I fired the first few guns. But thankfully, I had the foresight to set up a secondary camera, my GoPro. So let's take a look at the first gun, which was the M1A1 Thompson. Next up was a custom short-barreled M4 called the Chihuahua, which also happened to function as a fucking flashlight. And of course, what day to a machine gun range is complete without the venerable P90. Serbian M92. Next, we've got one of my all-time favorites, the M60. Next, we've got the fearsome MG42. Next, we've got the M82 Barrett, because I like style. Now, the M82 Barrett was absolutely insane. Notice how it actually sent all the shells, even the magazine for the Thompson, flying. Recoil-wise, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was about as much as a 12-gauge. Next, we've got the M240. And of course, the M2 Browning. Because I know what the ladies like. Oh, I know what the ladies like. And because I'm only a little bit psychopathic, we're gonna finish off with the M134 Dylan. Going hot. I was actually hoping for a lot more carnage with the minigun, but the insane amount of gas from the sheer hellfire just ended up pushing the cardboard that was holding my sign mostly out of the way, which was also the case for the Browning M2. But I don't really care, because it was a lot of fun firing those guns. God damn, look at that carnage. And that's a wrap, folks. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Driver Tank in Kasota, Minnesota for letting me shoot their guns and not even having to clean them afterwards. <laughs> Why don't we head back home? <laughs> and there we have it, guys. Man, that was a lot of fun, and I got to shoot a bunch of machine guns that I've never thought I'd get to shoot in my lifetime. One final thing is I need to mount this on my wall so that I can forever remember this day. Let's go do that, huh? Okay, we're going to mount this on the wall behind me, so let's do it. Got to get close to the wall. Whoop, you missed the prompt. Go back. Nope, what are you doing? Oh, there's the prompt. Nope, you missed the prompt again. Jesus Christ, how are you this bad at this? Okay, there, there, there's the prompt. Now press E. Great job. Thank you. Looks good. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun shooting some holes in this thing, and I hope you guys had fun watching. And I guarantee that's not the first time I'm going to be going to drive a tank. I should probably get going. I've got to work on Postal 4, so, you know, get out of here. i got a lot of work to do.